I work at Pfizer in External Medical Affairs. I'm a director. I manage uh, the fellowship programs that we sponsor and some of the public-private partnerships uh, that we have with large medical associations in the United States. I am now the collections manager for the National Core Blood Program uh, at the New York Blood Center. So I manage the collections of cord blood stem cells in eight hospitals. There are many job opportunities for the graduates of our, of our program. Some of them, they stay here at Mount Sinai, where, for example, they work as faculty. Some of them go on to international organizations like the UN. Other job possibilities are working here at the industry. Um, in the U.S., a lot of our graduates work for the Department of Health. I know this program at Mount Sinai is going to help me get a job uh, either here at Mount Sinai or with the Department of Health and Mental Hygiene and help me in my long-term career goals. I see myself teaching um, in a medical capacity, working with medical students and residents, but also working in a public health facility, either as a community health program director or as a director of public health for either city or state or even federal agencies. The reason I'm at Mount Sinai is for the reputation of the school. Mount Sinai is one of the best research institutes in the country, if not the world. The MPH program here at Mount Sinai is a great opportunity for anyone interested in public health, in health policy, and in politics. It opens the door to a wide variety of jobs. Besides the general public health track, st students can concentrate on environmental, and occupational health, they can concentrate on health promotion and disease, disease prevention, and they can concentrate on outcome research, and the last specialty track is global health. So students who have a passion for global health have the opportunity to spend time at our partner sites around the globe working on research, working on public health, working on clinical service. Here at Mount Sinai, there's not only an emphasis on treating individual diseases and individual patients, but also advocating for the correction of the circumstances in that person's environment that create the disease. I find I don't look at individuals just alone in isolation, but I look at them in the context of their community. So I have a bigger picture when I think about my patients as to why are you not getting your diabetes medications or what were the barriers that prevented you from making your follow-up primary care appointments and how can I help you fix those? I decided to come to Mount Sinai because the program is geared towards the working individual. Most classes are after 4 p.m., so you can maintain a full-time job. And also with Central Park in New York City right next door, it was a great perk. I worked for several years before coming to Mount Sinai, and after this program, I intend to apply to medical school. First two years of medical school, I was taking medical school classes in the morning and uh, master's in public health classes in the afternoon. So the MPH I did here, I like the mixed, diverse group of students. So you had people that were taking their degrees as a second career or later in life. I was an adult learner. Mount Sinai was a great program because not only was it prestigious, it was also small and intimate enough that the faculty really work with you and help you develop your ideas and profession. I always felt like I mattered in my classes and they really wanted you to start conversations and really think about topics we were discussing. When I was uh, working here at Mount Sinai, I actually simultaneously, I was the residency coordinator for their surgery program. So we had 72 surgical residents that I uh, helped the program director manage that program. Absolutely loved it, loved it. It was a wonderful experience. And then I studied for my MPH at night. For my thesis, I was very interested in childhood obesity. And I spent a summer in rural Oregon. And I wound up working with local school populations to try to understand the barriers in the environment that prevent children from getting good nutrition and physical activity and wound up conducting a survey and doing an intervention. My thesis is actually on poisonings with the New York City Department of Health and the Poisoning Control Center on camphor-related poisonings, mostly in children. At Mount Sinai, I had the opportunity to start a project called Community Support of Agriculture, in which I was able to pair members of the East Harlem community and the Mount Sinai community with a local farmer to get access to uh, relatively cheap organic produce delivered weekly to hopefully change the diets of not only people here uh, in the community, but also in the hospital that may not necessarily be eating right all, either. So I did my practicum at NYU. I studied crystal meth addiction. I compared two groups of people, those that got sober using a 12-step program and those that got sober on their own. I then took that experience and applied the, that knowledge base on qualitative research to my thesis. 
My practicum and thesis work I did at New York City's Department of Health and Mental Hygiene with the Healthcare Emergency Preparedness Program, and I looked at flu vaccination in healthcare workers at long-term care facilities in four boroughs in New York City. My practicum was based on the fourth floor in the pediatric uh, outpatient department. I studied patients' perceptions of wait time and it, it was determined that it wasn't the actual time that upset the patients, it was the lack of communication. I'm using my internship experience as my practicum hours and will write my master thesis as a program evaluation of the Clinton Global Initiative. I decided to do my internship with the NGO because that's where I want to work in the future. I want to start my own NGO. There is a great need for global health physicians. Not only do we actually need clinicians out in places of the world where there are no doctors, but we need the public health professionals and the medical professionals of the future who are going to develop vaccines, develop strategies for getting medicines out to the people who need them most, and figure out the ways that we can really alleviate the health problems of the world's most underserved. I wound up going to Honduras on a medical service learning mission and did a lot of public health education while I was there. And so I took that public health educational component and turned it into my practicum, created a curriculum and evaluated it, um, which turned out to be a great learning tool in terms of public health skills, how to design a curriculum, how to implement it, and how to evaluate it. Went to Senegal over the summer and worked on evaluating a program that was training community health workers how to prevent malaria in their own villages uh, with new drugs um, and also rapid diagnostic tests. In India we have a program where our students work with a community-based organization helping to reduce maternal and infant mortality. They're going in the field, they're going to the villages and educate the mothers about newborn care and then they also do a survey to measure the impact of their work again. We really encourage our students to form relationships with local communities. So unlike other centers that transplant their whole institute into another country, we keep Mount Sinai where it is and we send our students to learn from local partners in the countries where they're serving. I got my MPH at Mount Sinai because I like to study germs. The best thing about the Mount Sinai MPH program has got to be the communication. I declared my public health track and the next day I was talking to the dean of the program. I expressed interest in working on a project with one of my professors and the next day he had me doing research for him. So the communication you have with your professors, with the staff, with your fellow students is just amazing. Graduates of our program, they really care about public health, they really care about population and they care about the individual. We have like doctors who work most of the time here in New York but they take the time once a year, they go out on a medical mission, they're going to go out and work with a non-governmental organization and work passionate with underserved people around the world. I got so much more out of this Masters of Public Health than I expected here at Mount Sinai. Not only did it give me the practical knowledge base and the skills to work in the public health community, but I think it's really given me the opportunity to make a difference in the field of public health. Mount Sinai has really been an amazing place to study both medicine and public health and to really integrate those two fields. I love the intersection between medicine and public health and I just can't separate them in whatever job I wind up doing. Because of my time spent here studying for my MPH, I now have an amazing career and a wonderful little baby.